Hello, and welcome to the second Real Pictures VR Diary. In this video, I wanted to highlight the upcoming release of Unreal Engine version 4.13. Currently, Unreal is on 4.12.5. This is the end of August. And there's a preview of the upcoming 4.13 available right now. I'm showing it because it includes, for the first time, a dedicated virtual reality template by standard with the engine. Before now, there's been a few different VR templates. I've been particularly interested in room scale VR. So we've had the Proteus VR template, Mitch's VR lab, which has turned into the Mitch's content examples. But it's great to have a template built in along with the fantastic templates that Unreal already has. These templates have always been great building blocks and great start starting points when you want to do particular types of games. To have one for VR is awesome. So I've made a quick project on that default template and just wanted to talk through it and show some of the things that I really liked. So it's got two main scenes. One of the scenes is dedicated to the Oculus Rift sort of um, setup where you have just a headset and you're holding a game controller such as the Xbox controller. This template here allows you to look around with your headset, look at a certain point on the ground, and when you press a button on the game controller, you'll teleport there. I'm mostly interested in the motion controller template, which I'm gonna open up. So I've got a camera set up this time. So this is the space that I'm in, and I'm going to launch the game, the template, and you should see now on the computer screen a live feed of what I can see as I put on this headset. And the video is giving a live update of where I am in the actual room. So I'm going to pick up my controllers and this is the template. So right off the bat it's using the hands from the Unreal Skeleton. These are placed quite well. So as I hold my hands in real life on the actual controllers, they sit quite close to these virtual hands. I feel like the virtual hands need to be a bit uh, lower down the controller and it's something that's quite easy to modify. But from the start, they're awesome. This template shows two different things. First one being teleportation, which you've seen if you've used room scale VR quite a few times. Teleportation is a way of locomotion. You can see if I'm gonna try and walk, say, this way, too far, I'm in danger of actually hitting the, the room around me. So teleportation allows me to press a button, in this case it's the thumb pad on the controller, and it will draw a line. Suddenly I can see this icon, if I let go, I'm teleported instantly to, to that location that I was looking at. This is a really nice and robust teleportation system. First off, it draws a parabola, and that means that you can see there's an arced line. The other alternative is a linear line where you're, you're kind of aiming like a gun, and that's pretty uncomfortable for most people. Most people have shakiness in their hands, even a tiny bit. Microscopic shakes are gonna be caught in VR. Having a par parabola allows you to hold your hand at your side, at your waist, aim, and even if you're quite inaccurate, it just looks fantastic. The second cool thing is it draws an icon on the ground. You can see that, that icon indicates which way my head is looking, as well as the actual tracked environment I'm in. This blue square that is surrounding that icon is literally the room I'm in. So if I start to walk to this corner of the room, you can see how the icon's touching that blue line. I know now that I must be close to the real room. So if I want to walk to the other end of the room, I can freely walk. And as I get too close, I, I realize that I need to step back. So I can kind of use it just as a guide. Many teleportation systems have this, and it's great to have it in the actual Unreal template. Another thing about the teleport system that's quite nice and or it could be annoying, you can see that as I aim along the ground, there's a sphere in the middle of the icon. And if I get to a wall or a surface that I can't tele cannot teleport onto, the sphere moves away from the actual icon, it hits the wall, and if I let go, I'm still going to teleport exactly 
where the icon is. It's a great visual cue. It's quite awesome. The only downside I can see, which of course could be modified, is that there is really no easy way to cancel a teleport. I find that people that use VR for the very first time and they're kind of looking around their environment trying to teleport for the very first time inadvertently hit the button by accident and they do these weird kind of teleports or they might press the button and they're like you know what I don't actually want to teleport I just want to stay where I am I didn't mean to press that button so there's no real way to cancel the teleport with Mitch's uh, content examples if you aim your teleport um, area on a wall or somewhere that's not allowed such as on top of this white box it cancels the teleport everything goes red instead of green or blue it's quite elegant with this one the only real way to cancel it seems to be to point the controller directly up and let go so it's it's very very cool the way it's set up I can see it being an issue and of course like anything in Unreal you can just tweak it however you like the second thing in the um, VR template that I wanted to show off was these fantastic uh, grip inter interactions. You can see here that my hands can get within close proximity of these blue boxes. And as I get close, the controller will vibrate. I can feel it giving haptic feedback, just like a PlayStation or video game controller shakes when you get when your character gets hit or something. Not only does it vibrate, the hand actually animates. And if I am to pull the trigger to squeeze my hand, I can pick up an object. Once I pick up an object, the, hand, the controller also shakes to give me that feedback. That object is now live, so I can use it to hit other objects. You can see that the, the guys at Epic have lined up this great um, pyramid, and they're just asking to kind of come in and cause some damage. It's very, very cool. And it's very, very, very intuitive, user-friendly. As soon as I can feel that vibration, I know I can just squeeze the trigger and pick this up. It's also very great at handling two hands grabbing something. So I can't kind of grab with both hands at once and, you know, pull it or, you know, stretch it or something. Not with these simple objects. But what I can do, which is not often handled very well in VR demos, is hold an object, for example, here in my left hand. I can use my right hand. You can see my right hand still gives me an indication that I'm about to grab it. And as soon as I pull the trigger, my right hand or my other hand takes over control. Now this is really, really cool. In other games or in other templates, you often have to let go of the object with your left hand and immediately try and catch it with your right hand, which is no one is gonna work that out the first time. So to have this in this template right from the start is fantastic. The performance of this is also really, really good. I am not 100% certain, but I believe Unreal version 4.11 and 4.12 has had slow um, updates of your motion controllers. That's due to a technology called late update where the controller is actually updated two times per frame instead of one time per frame, allowing really, really liquid smooth feedback of the position of your hand. And this template with Unreal 4.13 definitely has that. Overall, it's a really, really fun template. I'm sure that um, people are going to be able to just jump into VR, muck around this template, build upon it, and do some awesome stuff. So that's a quick look at the VR template that's coming with Unreal 4.13. It's really cool. There's a lot to learn from it. It seems to be really easy to bring in your own objects, give them the class of a pickup, and then give it the ability for you to pick up the objects yourself. The actual pawn, which is the character itself, contains only the uh, headset and the, uh, the camera for the headset. So I'm talking about the headset you put on your head. The actual motion controllers themselves are spawned in at runtime, which means that they're modular. It means that you can create some really um, great demos without having to duplicate much work. So to have a, a template with a pawn set up like this is really cool. Thanks for watching, and it'll be great to see what people in the VR community make with these templates.